The United States has carried out more airstrikes on Islamic State militants near strategically important dam in Iraq at the request of the government in Baghdad. On the diplomatic front, U.S. President Barack Obama will lay out his strategy this week to tackle the radical militants, but he stressed the U.S. is not going to wage another war in Iraq. Our Connie Kim reports. The United States has begun launching airstrikes around a key dam in Iraq as Washington steps up its aerial bombardment of key Islamic State positions. Upon the Iraqi government's request for support near the Haditha Dam, officials say the strikes helped Iraqi forces launch a ground offensive that destroyed Islamic State vehicles and forced the militants to retreat. This is the first time the U.S. has attacked ISIS positions in Iraq's Anbar region. Uh, they too, the Iraqi Security Force, Air Force, is conducting uh, strikes. Haditha Dam is a critically important facility. Uh, for uh, Iraq. Uh, it is, I think, the second largest hydroelectric dam uh, in Iraq. U.S. President Barack Obama will lay out Washington's game plan to defeat the terrorist group this week. In an interview with NBC on Sunday, Obama said he will give a speech outlining his tactics on Wednesday after first meeting with congressional leaders from both parties at the White House on Tuesday. The president stressed that his plans will not involve U.S. boots on the ground in Iraq or Syria. This is not going to be an announcement about U.S. ground troops. This is not the equivalent of uh, the Iraq war. President Obama is now back in Washington following a NATO summit in Wales, where leaders saw eye to eye on the need to destroy Islamic State. Connie Kim, Arirang News.